To our breaking news of the morning, neighbors screaming to wake people up in the middle of the night as a fire breaks out in an apartment complex. Ten News reporter Jared Ahrens has been on this all morning. Jared, can you update us on what's happening with the people who live there? Yeah, we can. Uh, no one's been allowed back in their apartment just yet, and you can see why firefighters are still here working on their investigation. If you look upstairs on that second story window, that's where the fire happened. It's a master bedroom in an apartment. Thankfully, no one was home in that apartment when the fire started, and no one was hurt. But it was a frantic scene as neighbors made sure everybody got out okay. A mom and her daughter were watching from the sidewalk as the firefighters tried to keep that fire contained to that master bedroom. It started around 2.45 in this complex near 50th and Monroe. About 30 firefighters, two ladder trucks, five engines, a massive effort to get that fire out. And investigators don't know what caused the blaze, but a battalion chief here told me that everybody should clear space around their heaters this time of year. We do tend to see an increase of fires this time of the year um, due to floor heaters um, that people may not be aware that are there. They kick off for the first time in the cold weather. Um, maybe they've put a box over the floor heater or a sofa or something like that. Another tip as far as keeping fires in under control when the weather gets colder. The fire battalion chief said with daylight savings time coming up, it's a good time to check the batteries on your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide meters. Live in Talmadge, Jared Aarons, 10 News.